What's up everybody, it's Randy here, Campin' Randy, also owner of RidgelineStore.com. Got some shirts on. Hey, uh, so I went camping again last night and I got hit up a bunch of times from uh, folks because I was posting, I had like one bar, so uh, had a couple uh, craft beers last night and was uploading a bunch. So they were like, hey man, show us all your stuff. So I'm real cheap. Um, I like to buy American, but I really, you know, you can't when you're on the cheap. So what I wanted to do was um, let you know that, or, or show you what I have um, for some of my, you know, you can call it overlanding, you can call it soft road, you can call it camping, whatever you want to call it. You can make fun of whatever you want to do. You know, I have a ridge line. It doesn't matter, man. Just go out and have fun. Um, I'm at a hip camp right now, and uh, I'm on a lake, and it's 1,300 acres of property in the woods, and there's nobody here. Um, but yeah, let me do a walk around. I'll show you what's in the bends. Um, that was one thing somebody asked They're like, Hey, what, what do you have in those bends? And, uh, hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. Uh, remember, remember to uh, like, and subscribe. And I'll put links to the products that I show you today. Um, I have an affiliate link to Amazon. So if you buy anything using that link, I get a, you know, a smidgen of that to help out. All right, guys. Also, Oh, also in the comments or in the description, I'll have a $10 off hip camp. So hip camp, give, give me, uh, I can give to you guys uh, $10 off. So definitely check that out. I'll walk you through my gear, I guess. Enjoy. So the first thing everybody needs is an inflatable kayak. So this is a two person kayak, bought it off a of Facebook marketplace for like 70 bucks. I think you can get them for 70 bucks new up to 200. But uh, yeah, it goes in a little bag, probably, I don't know, I'll show you the bag. But it all collapses and uh, you can throw it in the back of the truck um, but there is two seats and i have extra oars and um, life jackets to take the misses with me all right there's the ridge line as always um, i didn't use the go treads for leveling um, i used the root because i actually needed the go treads to level out uh, the kitchen so real quick i always bring uh, a pad with me to you know keep dirt and mud dirt and mud away um, always bring a folding chair and always if you're in North Carolina or South Carolina bring yourself a rain jacket again it rained last night um, that's one of the life jackets for the blow-up kayak the biggest score so far this year is the Napa Auto Parts $99 8 foot by 8 foot canopy thing works great Used it last night in the rain. Then we'll move over to the kitchen. This is the Sylvan Sport Dino Max. They make two different ones, a large one like this and a smaller one. Of course, what everybody has is the dual burner Coleman stove. This is a little camping kit for, uh, you know, that you can just get and it's all inclusive and it packs up really nice and small into this guy here. The one thing everybody needs is the percolator. So make sure you get that percolator. This thing makes some amazing coffee. Also back here is, I'll move over to that here in a little bit, but that is uh, the Newport trolling box. And I'll show you a little bit of that in a little bit. But I have this uh, two USB to 12 volt plug that I put in the side. And then this cable runs down and I stick it here on the uh, kitchen so that you can plug in. Just got this little thermocell thing. It actually works. Gives you about 15 feet of uh, no mosquitoes around you. Another thing you need is a fan. This little guy from Amazon actually uh, lights up. So I put that in the tent at night and when there's no uh, air, you get a little circulation. So that's off low, medium, and then high. So it definitely puts off some air. Um, this I use as my utensil thing. I'll put that a link down below, but it comes with a couple of knives, scissors, cutting board, and I put, you know, little napkins and stuff. Also from Renegy, you should check these out. I don't know if they have them anymore, but these uh, 
fold out into utensils. And they have a can opener in there. They have knives, forks, all kinds of cool thing. And then, you know, bring your seasonings, bring your off. Um, the Sylvan Sport actually has a uh, can opener if you need that. With a little sink on the side. I, I'm going to show you some stuff inside here that has um, a pump, but I just use the bladder now. And then you, I just turn it on and uh, wash my hands. And then after I wash my hands, I come up here to my paper towel roller, which I showed in the last video. And that is just magnetized, so it sits on the bed cover. Also bring yourself a little Bluetooth speaker, but don't blare it. I have light music going. And then I have this really cool thing that I found for free. It's, uh, they hang signs from the top. Of... <coughs> All right, I just sucked up a bug. That was good. But anyway, this, uh, this I found um, attached to a suspended ceiling. So it's a sign company and you can find these all over, but I got a couple of them I stick on the bed rack and hook things too. Let's see, what else? So I went over this. Always give yourself a dry bag. I put all my fire starter stuff in there. So I wanna show you something from Blackbeard Fire Starter. Um, this is what it looks like. This stuff can be submerged underwater and uh, you can tear it apart as individual thick pieces like that. You can cut it in half if you have a real sharp knife, but what it does, it comes like this. I have no idea what it's treated with, but you can stick it in water, pull it out, rip this rope apart in pieces, put it on the fire and light it. Um, they even had this little flint uh, paracord thing. So if you do need paracord, you can unravel that and have it. And then this gives off a nice spark. But yeah, this stuff works amazing. And then the Sylvan Sport Dynamax has shelves on the inside. So you can actually keep gear in there. And these are the actual shelves that sit on the fabric. And this folds up to the size of this bamboo. And it's about yay thick. So after I fold the top, I flip it upside down and you collapse these here on all four sides. And then it just folds down like this. Hope you can see that. And then this goes over the top and you zip it up. So it's literally that thick when you uh, put it away. And that's it all zipped up. All right, let's walk to the back. Back there, you have the full-size spare with the wheel. I've deleted underneath the uh, regular spare tire and replaced it with the Nolo Designs uh, gear tray. Here is the uh, vessel, or the Newport vessel uh, battery box. has USB, some breakers. You push it. Like, literally, I haven't charged this in a month. So I'm not medium on that. And then on that side is a 12 volt plug and it's got a handle and a strap and I just, you know, take it with me so I can charge stuff. The uh, BMX 52 quart cooler, amazing. Love that thing. This will fit underneath the uh, OEM bed cover as well as this will go in the trunk. All right, what's in the yellow bins? Uh, this is part of my recovery. Gloves, snatch strap, regular toe. And uh, I do these one pounders that I fill from the tank there, but I cannot locate that today. But you know what I'm talking about. It's a little fitting that goes on there and um, you can put your one pounders on there to you know run your Coleman stove or whatever other things that you have. Also to go back over here, I don't do firewood anymore. To charge one of these or exchange one of these propane tanks is 15 to $19 depending on where you're at. And I just have the fire ring, light it when I want to light it, no smoke. It does keep the mosquitoes away. And, and then when I'm done, I just shut it off at night and head up to the tent. Uh, you know, I let it cool off and stuff like that. But literally in 15 minutes, you can have that shut off and pack it in the truck and uh, be back on the road. So, yeah, I always recommend gloves, like I said. Uh, that is one of the recovery totes. 
This tote here is gonna have uh, my uh, release for the air. I'll show you that real quick. So that helps me uh, just air down when I want to. Um, I always bring extra batteries. Uh, I have a cordless uh, chainsaw that I bring with me from Black & Decker in case I need to cut anything. Um, this is a uh, compressor. Always bring zip ties, have some zip ties there. This is something cool that has actually saved a lot of folks. Get yourself one of these if you can. It is a tire plug set. So uh, I've actually plugged some folks' tires out on the trail, which works out great. Somebody actually sent me some emergency uh, valve stem replacements. So uh, I need to actually get those and see how those work. Uh, log splitter you put on a drill. This ladies is called the Go Girl. If you need to stand and pee, you can use that. Put that on your uh, lady parts. Axe, inverter, got a shovel. That's what's in that one. And then over here, this one's like miscellaneous. Hammock's in there, lantern. This is the little pump I was talking about. It's got a silver nozzle that goes on it and a tube. It actually attaches to a five gallon jug. So if you bring a five gallon jug with you, um, that pops right on top of there. You put in the, uh, the metal nozzle there and you press the button and it pumps and it does pretty good. One of my other videos shows this in there, but I'm real big about lights, uh, twisty ties, Velcro straps, uh, bungee cords, paracord. You never have enough rope. So uh, make sure you grab yourself some of that stuff. I also have like little lights. This one is my kitchen box, more paracord, more lights. Uh, this is from MSR. This is if I run out of water, it's got a ceramic, something inside that you can pump water through i take that backpack and as well as keep it with me in case i run out of water you can literally have garbage water and uh, drink through it and not get sick just a little reference bag little tube thing to put water or lotion in um, forks uh let's see and yeah i think that's it always bring a garbage bag with you even though this is a hip camp people are still pigs so as you can see there's glass this is actually mine i'm taking that with me and i'm going to clean this all up too from the people for me got the hobbs bed rack on there this is the mid rack with the extensions for tall new cover the tapui who is now owned by fuel t-h-u-l-e i'm spelling it right this time and um oh real quick this is the best toilet ever. It's from Reliance. It's got a bucket and a bag on the inside with a little uh, seat. And I highly recommend dude wipes. You can wipe yourself down with those. Not only just your butt crack, but everything else. And then we'll go up in here to the tent. And I have a foam topper on top of the mattress. Sometimes I have the climate. Uh, air mattresses in there those work great pillow sleeping bag and then i hang my fan and stuff from there at the top oh one the last thing before we head out uh two things got the step so that you can get up into the top of the tent if you need to when you're setting it up and this thing i just got check out climate um they have this is a light that has a dimmer on it. There's an LED light in there and it diffuses and I used it for the first time last night. It works amazing. And then uh, they do air pillows, um, inflatable mattresses, all inflatable stuff, which is, is cool. All right. One thing I forgot to show was the bathroom or changing room. This all pops up. I'll put a picture of what it looks like when it is fully assembled. But yeah, it has a floor on it, has a roof, has a door. Uh, you can use it for the bathroom or changing room when you're out in the woods. This is the Nolo Designs gear tray. So have a tent in there with some poles, put the Coleman stove in there. And as you can see, I'll turn the light on. You can see how deep that is. There you go. You can see how far back that goes with the tray. But yeah.
tons of more storage if you get rid of the spare tire. So yeah, I put that uh, pop-up changing room in there. And then I'm going to put the Go Treads down here in the bottom. Fire bag, a couple other things. And then the Sylvan Sport will lay right on top of there. Alrighty, that's the trunk. Oh, and I have a weight distribution uh, hitch that I keep in there as well. And a recovery hitch if you need one of those. And voila, everything's in the trunk. Close it. And then I'll put the rest of my stuff up in there. Take the Honda OEM cargo net and throw it on top of everything. And we'll be out of here in just a bit. I'm out of breath on that, showing you guys all that stuff. So yeah, if you have any questions or comments, or if you have some suggestions for us uh, when we go out and camping, I think I showed you guys everything. I'm trying to think about it. Yeah, I think that's it. But, uh, you know, always pack out, you know, clean up the sites, make them look better than when you, when you left. Uh, gentlemen with your ladies, let me give you a tip. Don't let them use toilet paper, and if they do use toilet paper, get yourself a Ziploc bag, and after they uh, dab their area, put it in a Ziploc bag and take it with you. Um, there's a lot of forced land that I go to that has toilet paper squares everywhere, and there's signs up saying they're going to close the camp, and so guys, ask your ladies to bring a Ziploc bag with them, take the toilet paper out with you, even if you're walking off the road, toilet paper does not degrade, it just sits there on on the the ground so that and the bud light cans i always feel like i want to give messages take your as a former law enforcement who cares about your open container hide it in the car somewhere take it out with you if you're out drinking on the trails take your trash with you um stop throwing it out i'm tired of seeing bud light cans and toilet paper that's my public service announcement <laughs> so it's a rambling thing um yeah, let me know, like, subscribe, uh, if you have any questions, like I said, and uh, get out there and camp and use that $10 hip camp uh, coupon that I have in the description. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.